What's going on everybody? And this Tesla Tasker video, I wanna show you how to double tap your volume button to unlock or lock your doors. I, as always, I wanna show you how it works first and then I'll take you into the code. So as you can see, I have my phone open, I double tap the volume and then my car will open. So let's get to the code. All right, for this to work, you need to have Tasker installed, auto input, and the Tesla Tasker plugin. I will have a link to all three in the description below. I'm gonna take you through the process of doing the opposite. I showed you how to unlock the car. I'm gonna take you through the process of doing the lock. If you wanna make it unlock, you should just follow the same exact steps. Uh, and, and instead where it says, hey, lock the doors, just make it say unlock the doors and it'll work the same way. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna set up the task and we're gonna call this Tesla underscore doors underscore lock. Hit the plus or the check mark rather. And we wanna set up a couple of variables. Um, so the first variable we're gonna set is called taps and we're gonna set it to two. And basically what that variable does is the number of taps we need to lock our door. Uh, the next variable we're gonna do is time underscore wait. We're gonna set this to 1500 and that's gonna just be the milliseconds waited before it refreshes. Then we're gonna search at the bottom, wait, and change this to a variable and change it to time wait. So now it will wait 1500 milliseconds before it does anything. And it's looking for two taps. Uh, so we want to add an if. And uh, so the first if is, uh, we don't have the variable yet. So we want tap press count. And that will make more sense after is equal to taps. So if the number of taps we count, like on our phone, is equal to the taps we set, which is two, run this code. And the code we want to run underneath is pretty simple. So variable set uh, tap press count to zero, because we want to reset it. And then I do this one just mainly just because I want it to say, hey, you know, it is working. So add the vibrate, you don't have to do that, but it, I don't know, I, I just like it. And then we want to go Tesla plugin, configure. Select the vehicle, mother frunker. And in this case, we want to lock the doors. But again, if you want to do the opposite, you can. And I probably passed it. Here it goes, right at the top. So lock doors. Hit the plus and hit back. So there's our if statement. Uh, then we're going to go else. So if the number of times we press the taps is equal to two in this case, which is equal to taps, then run this code. Otherwise, just restart the variable back to zero because it didn't, it didn't, we didn't click the button fast enough and then that's it at the end of the code. Uh, we still have to do the profile and it'll make more sense once we do the profile, but for now, this is what it is. Uh, so variable set, tap press count to zero, and then we want to stop. And then, and if. All right, so that's pretty much it for the task. We're on the profile tab. We're gonna hit the plus, uh, go to event, and we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, type auto input key. We're gonna configure it, the keys, and we're gonna go down to the bottom, volume up, uh, key action. Uh, we want key uh, up, back, back, we hit new task. We're just gonna hit the plus. We don't want to give it a name or anything. Uh, now we're gonna go like this and go down to variables. And we want to set a variable, so variable set. And this is the tap press count. And we're gonna set it to one. Go back and then here, and we want to perform a task. We're gonna search for it. Tesla doors lock, 
and back out. And pretty much there's your whole entire task. I'm gonna take you through, uh, you can also hold your finger down and give it a rename, but I'm gonna take you through the whole entire thing now. Uh, so this is for the doors unlock. So you press the down button, uh, volume down, and it sends this code. So first it's gonna say, hey, every time the volume down button is pressed, uh, count one and perform a task, test the doors unlock. So if you press the volume down button twice, it's gonna keep adding to key press count each time. And then we're gonna go to test the door unlock and that's under our task. So it's saying, hey, clicks is two and our time interval is 1500 seconds. So if uh, your key press count, which is keeps adding up is equal to clicks. So if it's equal to two, uh, then do this code. So reset the count to zero and vibrate and unlock your doors. And then else, if it's not that, then set your count to zero and stop and your code ends. Uh, one other thing I did kind of skip over was the time wait. You wanna wait 1500 seconds uh, after the first click is done and it's either one of the two. So it's either it's equal to two clicks or it's not and it resets your code. So it's pretty much how it works, it's pretty simple once you get the idea of how it works and the process, but uh, that pretty much does it for this week's Tasker video. Uh, I'll have more next week. If you guys have ideas, do leave comments below. Uh, but uh, that does it for today. Make sure you guys are subscribed for more Tesla videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.